Man, I haven't played this ship in a while. Let's see how it goes. I haven't played this ship in fucking ages. I think it's gonna be really rusty at least a couple of games. I don't remember why I stopped playing DM. I think I probably stopped playing DM around the same time that I stopped playing Moskva. And that was because I ran into... I think it was AP Bombers or something. It's probably AP Bombers and AP Rockets and shit. And I was just like, I can't fucking be arsed to deal with that shit. And I just stopped playing it. And I haven't played it in a really long time. It might have been just Manfred, the old Manfred, before they nerfed the dispersion. I mean, it's still stupid, but... I still don't, I'm still not gonna play Moskva though, because Moskva is so horrendous against any AP. That guy who does the streamer highlights on YouTube did an edit back and forth of you renaming Outnumbered with another streamer talking about actually choosing it. <laughs> yeah, is it actually part of any builds? I, I, I honestly can't think of any build where I would like to get Outnumbered. Tremble time. Shit, 6 seconds 10km. Even at 10km it's each. Two thunders. I'm sure they're gonna give us a lot of support, huh? Teammates, I need your support. All the cruisers. Why am I not surprised? All forces, capture that area. The team play I've heard so much about. Enemy cruiser founder. Off to a great start. You damage count against DM? Oh, we're gonna cook this guy. Our reload is filthy now. So much for cooking the guy. I forgot we're dealing with flow RNG here. The only ship that can be in this situation and only get one fire in a demon. Dude, flow RNG. It's a magical thing. So how much help are my thunders gonna give me? Probably not a whole lot, huh? is nice. If he doesn't push up, he can't see me. And until they radar me, I can utilize them. Our team has taken the lead.
Hmm, I guess this build works pretty well actually. I mean obviously if you don't get a CV and you got good positioning. But the reload is really filthy with this build. Of course, the new AP skill is really dumb, man. It gives me so much extra damage. Well, not dumb, but I mean, it's just nice extra damage. 200k in 7 minutes in a Des Moines is always a nice score. Yeah, hmm. That was uh, 212k and high caliber and how long was this game? This is a very long game, man. <laughs> this is a 6 minute 43, 212k. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty filthy. <laughs> this game, oh my god, 400 XP. They tried to push it to me and I had two thunders behind me. And I mean, they just sat there farming and the enemy team tried to close the distance and I just utilized terrain against them the entire time. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. That poor Mogami though, he had no idea I was there because I snuck in there. And I mean, cruisers against Des Moines. The fire chance on the Alaska was hilariously crap crap though. Like hilariously crap. Considering the fire chance is so high on the ship, but yeah, in those situations, the mine is still stupidly filthy. Please show the build. Sure. I do think still this skill is pretty inter interchangeable, but I will say that the reload boost it gives is really nice. It's really really nice. The reload boost it gives is really nice. Um, but I think this can be changed for RPF potentially. But both of these work. It kind of depends. Top grade gunner might be so easy to pro like. Top grade gunner does have the benefit that if you push in a radar, someone, they are in your standard detectability range, which makes your radar power even more fierce. So it does have some really nice synergy gun. As for modules, uh, this last thing is kind of interchangeable. This game was kind of the perfect storm of me running a full DPM build and the enemy team pushing into close range against me. Um, but I think this can be easily changed either for the legendary or for the range. Depends kind of on, on the matchmaking and the map you get, but I think these two are very, very interchangeable. Like, I think it, there's no, this is the absolute best. It kind of depends on the situation. All three of these can be very good. That Montana and Minnesota regretted not targeting you when you were fighting the Mogami and Alaska. Yeah, but you see that so much these days. People farming the battleships in the back. They should have they should have annihilated me. I mean, okay, uh, the reason why I stuck around after I saw them was the fact that they were uh, Montana and the Minnesota. And Montana and Minnesota both have 406mm guns, which cannot overmatch the central part of the ship. That ever since the 30mm buff, both of those ships really struggle against the Des Moines unless they hit the tip of the nose. So, the Minnesota, I think, did in fact shoot me a few times, but uh, if you don't get those perfect nose hits, well, well, it's a Minnesota. He didn't get many hits at all to begin with. 
But the thing is, they, they in Ohio, I wouldn't have dared to sit there. I guess in Ohio, I would have hesitated to sit where I was. Because Ohio left clicks me, and even if he doesn't get nose citadels, he just annihilates me. But Montana, if he doesn't hit the very tip of the nose, bounce, 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 bounce. 